Now we have learned all the concepts about cross product and let's apply them. Here is an ex excellent example to apply and gain the confidence. The title here is Area of Triangle. The points A 1 minus 2 0, B 3 1 and 4 and C minus 1 0 3 are given. Determine vectors A, B, B, C and C, A and show that sum of these vectors is 0. Part B is determine cross product A, B cross B, C, B, C cross C, A and C, A cross A, B. Explain why the cross products above are all equal. The beauty of the question is that as you go along, you can check your answers, right? <laughs> so that's very good about this question. So I'd like you to do the question along with me and enjoy the journey. That is how we'll do it. First, let's find AB. So AB means from A to B. That means we'll do difference of points which are in B to A. So 3 minus 1, right? So let's write 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus minus 2 will be 3. And 4 minus 0 is the number 4. Now let's do B, C. So when we say B to C, that means we'll subtract from C points, the B points. So we get minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And 3 minus 4 will be minus 1. And now C to A, that means 1 minus minus 1. So we just 2, right? Minus 2 minus 0 is again minus 2. 0 minus 3 will give us minus 3. So that is what we get. So we've done what is A, B, B, C, and C, A. And now we need to show that their sum is 0. Kind of a check on what we did, right? That's the beauty of this exercise. So let's check it. So you need to write them again A, B plus B, C plus C, A. Add them up. Show your answer. What I will do here is just to straight figure it out. And then we say, well, let's check it. So we will sum it. Sum is sigma, kind of a symbol. Sometimes some students know about it. It's a stretch S of sum, right? It's kind of sum. So I'm saying sum of vectors A, B, B, C, and C, A is. I'll just add them right here and try to get the answer. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay. 3 minus 1 minus 2, 0. And 4. Minus 1 minus 3 is also 0. So I get a 0 vector by adding them all. Wow, that's great. What does it mean? It really means that all these three points are in one plane, right? And uh, they are in one plane and we can join them as kind of a triangle. That's what it means. Do you get it? So it's a triangle where uh, the points are like A, B and C. And we say A to B, and then from B to C, and then C to A, we come back to the same position from where we started, right? And therefore, the displacement is zero. Do you see that? That's the concept. So they are coplanar points, right? So where linear sum is zero, correct? So that's kind of a good review of the previous chapter. Now here we are, moving on with this chapter understanding what is cross product. So let's do cross product A, B cross B, C. So A, B cross B, C. Now vector cross product, I know some of the students have been having difficulty in doing it. So what I will do is, I will again teach you the strategy, right? It's a good time to review. So we'll use this method of writing the numbers in row. So a, B. So first is A, B, which is this one, and B, C is this one. So A, B is 2, 3, 4. We'll start with the second number. So let me write this as 2, and then we write 4, 2, 4, oh, I, mean, I mean, we have to start with the second number, which is 3. So 3, 4, 2, and we'll end with the second number, which is, I mean, again, 3. Second number is 3 here, right? So the idea is, you have to write on your row, starting with the second number, the middle number, okay? So we just 3. So we write 3, 4, 2, 3. 3, 4, 2, 3. Correct. Now BC. We'll start from the center. Minus 1, 
minus 1, minus 4, and end with that center, minus 1, yeah. Now that second number is confusion gone. Now we need to multiply like this and take away this one. Do you see that? That is the strategy. So let's combine these terms and figure out what is the answer. So 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and minus of this will give me plus 4, correct? Now again, we'll do this. 4 times 4 is 16 with a minus sign. And this is minus, so it becomes plus here, so plus 2. And this time, we'll do 2 minus 1. It's just minus 2. And minus of this will make this plus, right? So we get plus 12. So that is the cross product of A, B, and B, C. And this I can write here as equal to. So minus 3 plus 4 is 1. And minus 16 plus 2 is minus 14. And minus 2 plus is plus 10. So that is what I get here, right? So that is my AB cross BC. Now let me do the other, which is BC cross CA. Let's do that. BC cross CA, right? Now just to illustrate, what I'm trying to do here is to show you both the methods so that, you know, you understand both the methods and then it's all up to you. Follow the one whichever you like. So we'll use the matrix method here. So we're doing BC to CA. So in matrix method, we just draw a matrix with I, J, K, correct? These are the unit vectors and BC is minus 4, minus 1, minus 1 and CA is 2 minus 2 minus 3. Write them down, right? And then we can write down this product, I mean the cross product as I. So what I, because I'm running out of space, I should have written here only, but I will write here on, so we're done with this part is over for AB cross B, right? Now let's utilize this space. So I'm doing it in a couple of steps here. So I times, so we'll do this one minus 1 times minus 3. So when we do with i, we actually, re we do not consider this rows, but we consider this part, correct? So we are considering this part here, right? So it gives me minus 1 times minus 3 as 3, minus of 2, right? That is i. And when we do the next time j, then we see change the signs. It is plus, minus, plus, right? So we write here minus j and minus 4 times. Then now we are considering these units. This is for j. So minus and minus is plus 12. And this is minus will give me 2 plus 2, right? And then plus k signs change times. Now we are using k. So we are using these two sides for us. Now this time we will use these two sides. That means with k we are going to use this portion which is minus 4 times minus 2 is 8 minus of this thing which is minus minus becomes plus 2, right? And that gives us, let's open this up. So that gives us 3 times 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. So we just left with i here. And here we have 12 plus 2, 14, so minus 14j. And here we get 8 plus 2, 10k, 10k, right? So that is as good as writing the vector 1 minus 14 and 10. Do you see that? Now if you compare, what do you see? They're exactly the same. So AB cross BC is same as BC cross CA. And if you do CA cross AB, you are expected to have the same answer. Now, part C is explain why the cross product above are all equal. The reason is simple. The reason is the magnitude of this is actually the area of your triangle, correct? The area of the triangle represents, in fact, of a parallelogram, I should say, twice the area. It is, it is, it is, it is. Let me just complete it. Well, the magnitude here is, 
So let's write it down to be very clear. So why? The question is why AB cross BC is equals to BC cross CA. That is the question which we are trying to answer. Why? Is since this is a vector which is normal to the page of plane where these two vectors are. Right? So if the vector AB is this and BC is this, then AB cross CA, AB cross BC will be a vector which is normal to the page and whose area will be equal to the area of the parallelogram. Do you see that? Of the whole parallelogram. Do you understand? So what we get here is two components. What is that is the two components is area of parallelograms. So let me just draw this parallelogram like this, right? This is my area of parallelogram. And a vector direction is kind of moving up. Do you see that? This is when I say AB is this and BC is this. That is what I'm trying to say here. That is, if I have AB along this direction and BC along that direction, in that case, what I've got here is a vector which is normal to the plane in which AB, BC are, like following the right hand rule, following the right hand rule, you understand? That means going up. If, if I do close my fingers, if I curl my fingers in this direction, my thumb is up, right? So that is the direction going up, right? So if you do the other one also, you get area of parallelogram formed by these vectors. And the direction is shooting out of this plane towards you. So that's how it is. And I think that summarizes. And that gives you confidence. What? And that makes you understand. The cross product is actually a vector quantity. And it is always in three dimensions. Two, if we are doing AB cross BC, AB and BC form a plane. And the cross product is a normal to that plane. And the direction of normal is given by the right hand rule. And length of the normal is same as the area of parallelogram formed on the plane. Correct? So that with that we'll end this. And now we'll have some review questions and practice questions for you to do. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Thanks a lot. And all the best.